Well, hello, everyone. I just thought I would do another um, immersed environment exploration video, as I'm calling them. Um, in this case, I'm, in, I'm starting in the immersed void, which is pretty self-explanatory there. Uh, but I'm going to explore the space lounge today. So let's jump over to the space lounge and check it out. So here we are, we're in the space lounge. Now, I gotta start by saying, what you're watching on YouTube does not even come close to capturing the grandeur of looking at the planet like this. I mean, it's, in VR, it's absolutely breathtaking. I mean, I can look up and it's just, it is breathtaking. So uh, you have to come into VR and try it and experience the space lounge and look out this window uh, to really get a sense for how cool this is. Uh, but as I look around the room, we're in this sort of, well, lounge. Um, it's got a little couch over here. And then this, these stairs and this platform or whatever, uh, it kind of reminds me of the movie Passengers where he had that kind of the, the style there. But if I look at um, what's available in the room, there are about eight different spots. There's these two standing spots here. Um, there's uh, five spots over here um, by the couch. And then uh, let me move, I'm gonna move to one of these standing spots to look back. So right here is where I was sitting. Uh, so that's the you know, kind of the eighth spot there. So you can sit in that chair or you can stand here or here or have these five spots here. Now, before I kind of explore it further, I wanted to uh, call your attention to the ambient sound. Um, so I'm gonna turn it up a little so you can hear it better. So it's got this sort of hum. Now, of course you can turn it completely off if that bothers you. But what I like to do is kind of go one step further, have a little bit of that ambient sound um, and then, um, over here, I like to find some little beeps and chirps and kind of make it make it seem like um, like I'm really in space. You know, kind of hide that, and you, you can pretend these little screens on the walls are making the beeps and whistles and stuff. So, um, or not, if you're not as big as a nerd as I am. Um, anyway, uh, so a couple things that are neat about. Um, the different spots over here, like if you go into the couch here, I have had um, a meeting in here where, you know, another avatar is sitting right next to me or across from me in this little couch. And we have this big vista and we can have a conversation in here uh, and we can share screens and it's just really neat. Um, and in this little space, if you're in this couch, you can, oops, you can, um, kind of position your screens to fit. Like right now I'm running into some furniture. Let me unpin all of them. And then you can just do a quick little, kind of move this around, put this guy like right there, bring this guy over here. And you can have one screen or five screens or any, you know, combination thereof. And you can make a bigger and smaller and, you know, a lot of flexibility there. So that's a, that's a pretty good, um, you know, kind of set up to be in this couch. I can still see these screens. They look real small in the YouTube video, but they're very large. Like this screen in front of me looks like it's about five feet by six feet. Um, you know, and it feels like it's about four feet away from me. So that's kind of neat. But one of my favorite things about this environment is this seat right here. So you think, oh, this is boring. I'm just facing the wall. Well, what's cool about this is if I am having, let's say I'm having a Zoom meeting, um, I'm going to simulate a Zoom meeting. Um, actually, first let me um, turn on my immersed webcam. Um, whoop, whoop, whoop me over. I forget it. I keep forgetting it does that. Um, when you start your webcam, it kind of bounces you. Let me go back to that spot. This is the spot right there. Okay. So I got my webcam on, I'm in the spot, um, let me turn my screens on, and then if I start a Zoom meeting here, uh, oh, <laughs> whoops, that's me in real life, sorry, uh, I meant to have my immersed webcam on, there we go. Okay, so here we are, um, and now you can see why 
I picked this spot because let's say I'm on a Zoom meeting and I've got different colleagues here. This is what I look like to them. So I can talk into the camera and they, you know, see the avatar and I can, you know, wave my hands and whatever. But behind me is this incredible, you know, kind of galactic planet vista. And so, and, but yet I still have my screens so I can look at information I need to while we have the conversation. I, I tell you, I really love the um, immersed webcam. It's a real good conversation starter and um, it's been a lot of fun. Uh, so, you know, there's nothing quite like showing up to a meeting in with your avatar for the very first time and uh, watching the reaction on everybody else's face is pretty, pretty hilarious. And then let me go over back to this chair. This chair is actually kind of my favorite for working because here when I'm when I'm here, I like to go up to four screens. I've got a layout that works really well. So I'll enable one of my virtual monitors. Um, all three of the monitors, I have a laptop and, and two external monitors in real life. So those are the three screens that you saw. And so now I've enabled this one up here, which is a, um, a single um, virtual monitor. And I just need to do a quick, whoops, um, do a quick setting on display. I know you can do this in the immersed menu. Uh, but I like to do it right here. Let me identify. So that's number four. One, two is over there. I like to do it. This this is kind of a cool setup. I'll do something like that. And I know Mac users, this is all different. Um, but I'm a Windows person, so uh, this is my setup. Um, okay, so now that I have that, I'll grab this screen. I love the feature of being able to unpin these screens one at a time and move them around. That's super cool. Of course, I can also unpin all of them at a, at a spot. And usually what I do is kind of put this right down on the ground where I can still see my kind of icons there. And then I just I make this sucker really big, kind of turn it about like that. This guy, I usually kind of have tilted down, make it pretty big over here, and uh, kind of bring this guy up here. There we go. And then this this guy I usually make pretty big. Kind of get it right about eye level, um, something like that. Go ahead and pin everything, and then you can get your bring up your applications and whatnot. Um, yeah, everything's kind of moved around, but you can see now um, kind of how, now I've got all this screen real estate um, and I can see all these screens and I can move around and I can, I still have this great big vista of the planet behind. So I have lots of screen real estate. I have all my applications open. I can be super, super productive and I've got kind of the fun ambiance of the feeling of being in space. So uh, lots of different useful ways you can use this environment. Um, that was an exploration of the Space Lounge. Um, hope you enjoyed it and uh, give Immerse a try. It's pretty amazing. And that's it.